and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the lineup update video that I've been telling you guys I was going to do. Now, if you guys didn't already know, I had about 2.6, I think 2.6 million coins. Closer to even 3 million coins that I've probably spent this week alone. If you know, this whole week, I probably spent a little over 3 million coins. But yesterday alone, I spent about 2.4 million coins. It's been pretty crazy. I'm broke now. I've spent all my coins on my team, so... It's probably going to bite me in the ass because I'm going to have no coins for a lot of the new promos. I'm going to have to get coins somehow. Sell some cards, open packs. I don't really know, but I'm going to be real broke for a little bit. So I think it was worth it. My team's pretty stacked now. I kind of have a God Squad for me, at least. This is my version of a God Squad, obviously. For no money spent. I mean, besides the beginning of the first week of the year. I really haven't spent money since. So the progression of this team has been a lot of just playing the game and just having fun. So let's get into the lineup. You guys know how I already do the lineup updates. I go into the I go into my binder, I go position by position. And this isn't just me showing you guys my lineup. I also tell I also go over over each position on who you should want at that position, why I have certain cards. I kinda give you a full analysis and breakdown of why I have certain things. So it could help you guys build in your team. So stay tuned for all that. Now if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notify bell boys, come join the family. I appreciate each and every one of you that come out every day to watch these videos. This is probably my fifth video for the day. So even I'm a little tired now, but guys, I'm grinding for you guys. We're getting into the holiday season, so I'm gonna get as many videos as you guys can, keep you guys entertained. And hopefully you guys keep showing support. Make sure to comment down below anything throughout the video. As I go through positions and I ask questions, comment down below any of the questions I have. Comment down below if you guys need any help with your lineup. Make sure to hit me up on Twitter or comment down below. And make sure to smash the like button, boys. On this lineup update, can we get 300 likes? You guys have went crazy with the like button lately. Every single one you watching right now, make sure to run that like button up. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. And now let's get it over to the binder. All right, guys. So at quarterback, there might actually finally be a switch coming. So I still have Lamar Jackson, obviously, still the same way as usual. And for all you guys wondering why he's 91 since he vaxxed 100 times, I have Madden passing with John Madden up, and that's probably most of the reason why he has it. Plus Madden rushing, which also helps him a little bit. I don't know if those, those underlying stats help that much, but that's part of it. Now, quarterback, there might be a change finally coming, and that is I just saw the new Randall Cunningham that came out, obviously, today. And I compared him to Lamar. He definitely blows away Lamar. They get the same abilities, though. So he's not a crazy upgrade, but where he is upgradable, such as throw deep and go deep, with go deep it helps go deep with go deep it helps throw deep and it helps throw power so that's kind of what i need that lamar's missing so i think i'm making a switch at quarterback pretty soon but then again i kind of want to see if lamar gets a blitz card so i'm going to be waiting just a little bit longer probably but guys comment down below what you guys are doing as far as your quarterback position and at running back this is one of our first pickups we have barry sanders 96 overall halfback for the detroit lions and guys this card is godly let me show you the stats in this card this card cost me about probably powered up kept up and everything probably close to like 800 900 coins look at these stats he's got 94 speed 98 acceleration 97 agility 90 carrying 72 catching 95 elusiveness 70 truck trucking and 94 break tackle and he has let's see what are his underlying stats 81 jumping, 95 elusiveness, 87 ball carry vision, 83 step arm, 95 spin move, 95 juke move. This card's a glitch. And let's see what his break tackle is, which I believe was on the thing right there at 94 and 94. Okay, so this card's a monster. I'll compare him to my Saquon that I upgraded him over. It was definitely worth it. He's plus 4 speed, plus 7 excel, plus 3 agility. Less 3 carrying, actually. Less 3 catching. Plus 8 elusiveness. That's huge. The trucking I don't really care about, and then the same break tackle, and then obviously the spin and juke. I have to say that Barry beats him there. I'm not even gonna have to. I'm not even gonna show you guys. You guys, we all know he beats him there. So that's what I'm ro rocking with with halfback. Now it was between him and Eric Dickerson, but I'm a huge Barry fan, so I had to rock with him. Fullback, I'm not really gonna talk about. I still have Corey Schlesinger. You guys have known that for months now, so I'm not gonna spend any time going over him. Now wide receiver, guys. This month alone, I have I never picked up wide receivers up until this month. I now have Michael Irvin, Tory Holt, and Tyreek Kill. Obviously, you guys have seen Tyreek Kill. Guy's a monster. The speed's, the speed's incredible. That's kind of the reason why I have him. Has his ability. He's got streak specialist. He's got return man, so he's a beast in the returns. He's got change of direction. This car as a whole, super agile, super quick. Great kick returner. But the big prize here is Michael Irvin, best wide receiver in the game. Look at these stats, my team. 93 speed, 93 jumping. That's crazy right there. 92 catching, 94 catching traffic, 95 spec catch, 93 short route running, 90 medium route running, and 93 deep route running. See, he is the best route runner or one of the best route runners in the game. Probably the best catcher in the game, combined with one of the most athletic body frames and height in the game. Guy, it's a no-brainer. Compare him to compare him to Torrey Holt. He beats Torrey Holt in almost every single stat. Just about every single stat besides medium route running and they tie in catching. 
other than that, you demolish them everywhere. Him, Torrey Holt, and Tyreek Hill are a deadly duo, or trio, I should say. So, at wide receiver, I'm feeling pretty solid. Now, tight end, I do want to upgrade at some point. I do have Kittle still. He gets the job done, but I definitely want his full card. So, obviously, I'm looking towards his full card or maybe even Gronk at the discounted rate, but I think I definitely want the increased speed. So, I think Evan Ingram or Kittle are probably the next moves for me. Now, coming over to left tackle, I have Munoz. He's more than fine. I don't plan to upgrade him anytime soon. He gets the job done. At left guard, though, we have Bruce Matthews. I do want to pick up one of the newer left guards, which was Quentin Nelson, but then I compared him to Bruce Matthews, and I felt like Bruce Matthews was almost the same. So at this point, I think I'll either get Gene Upshaw or I'll just end up waiting until the next next nice left guard comes out. At center, we got Frederick during the Halloween promo, and guys, he is solid as hell. 97 run block finesse. This card's a monster. No need to upgrade him for quite a while. I think we'll get the, he'll lock down the center job for quite a while. David DeCastro, again, all above 90 stats. Have no problem with him at right guard. And the right tackle is a place where we really need to upgrade. Our tackle has been weak for quite a while. I can feel it when I run the ball. He gets block shedded. He gets pass rush. He gets everything. So I definitely need to make an upgrade from him. Now coming over to the defensive side of the ball, we got left end Joey Bosa, 93 overall. One of our new pickups. He's got 81 speed, 89 excel, 86 strength, 79 tackle, 82 play rec, 80 block shed, 89 power movement, 97 finesse move. Once I chem him up and I put all the stuff I need to put on him, and I get my team powered up, uh, well, my team chemed up pass rush and John Madden pass rush. He's going to be probably the best left end in the game as when it comes to pass rushing with that 99 finesse move that he's going to have. I'm super hyped for him. I got to get ability on him too. Cameron Jordan was pushed to the bench. And now as far as left ends, I think Bosa is the move right now. At right end, I got Donald. I definitely want to upgrade Donald. I want to get his full series redux card. But with the way my coins are looking, it doesn't look like I'll be getting anyone anytime soon. So until those coins go back up, I'm going to have to just take the L on this one and just rock with that Donald. Now, actually, when it comes to ends in general, I think Donald and Bosa are probably my favorite duo for pass rushing. And the issue is with both of them is the run stuffing. I feel like Bosa is definitely gonna, he, he should be getting destroyed in the run in the run game. But I feel like I haven't really noticed it just yet. I also haven't played that many games like competitively, like in weekend league. Although, don't get me wrong, seasons feels more competitive than weekend league. People play seasons like it's the last game they're gonna play in their entire lives. Although in weekend league, I could run through it. It's really it's a really weird phenomenon that I go through with that which makes it increasingly difficult to get gameplays for you guys. Now coming over to defensive tackle, as far as defensive tackle goes, I still have Michael Pierce. I'm kind of just waiting for a guy that's cheap enough. I mean, obviously Henderson's cheap enough now, but now I have no coins, so it's kind of counteractive to be quite honest with you. Definitely want to pick up a new one. I'm still using Ed Oliver there at the backup just to fill up the overall slot and just have a guy there with chems. And then Michael Pierce, I don't know, he's been on my team all year. I've just had him powered up. I haven't really felt the need to downgrade him just yet. I did have to actually take out his power pass though to put that on Joe's Joey Bosa, because Joey Bosa basically went up a crazy crazy amounts like 65k after he came out so i didn't want to buy that now an outside linebacker this is the place where i need to make a switch von miller is definitely feeling a little lackluster at this point he can't really play zone i don't really pass rush him so he kind of just sits there and definitely not really a fan of him anymore i did not that i have problems with him but i really want a nice zone fast athletic corner um linebacker there that plays at that spot that's kind of the goal as far as how i want to build this team i mean i could also sit in different sets that don't have both outside linebackers maybe where i just have one of them Honestly, that'd probably be a better bet for me. Should definitely look into that, where I just take out him as an outside linebacker. Because I don't really use him too much anymore. And at middle linebacker, I got Ray Lewis and Shazier. Guys, these are going to be my linebackers all year. Bush, Shazier, and Lewis. Um, obviously, Lewis might get the boot at some point, and but is going to be there all year, and so is Bush. And then, if another linebacker comes out, which I doubt another linebacker is good as Lewis going to come out for a while. He's got insane stats. And then Shazier, I just put the captain token on. So his stats got even better. He now has an 89 speed. 91 excel 78 strength 92 tackle 92 play rec 78 blocks 83 hit power and 88 zone coverage that zone's incredible i leave him i leave him by himself and he just perfectly mans he will not mans up he just sits in his zone and he plays like a cornerback i love having him there and with the increased speed he's gotten even better i ran outside linebacker we got lawrence taylor from what i've heard nfl 100 they should be dropping in lawrence taylor about next week it's supposed to be i think outside linebackers and ends so if that is the, or just outside linebacker so if that is the case i think lawrence taylor will get the nfl 100 player so if that is the case hopefully he gets his upgrade soon because the next upgrade is going to be godly so i'm not even worrying about him he's going to be the next card that gets upgraded on my team hopefully so i better start getting coins for him as of now at quarterback we picked up night train lane guys him and deon sanders is a deadly duo him and deon sanders are crazy together he's got 92 speed 94 excel athleticism is crazy right there 94 agility amazing 93 jumping amazing 92 player crazy 91 man and 96 zone coverage so he's a zone animal with a 93 press now that sounds great right all those stats sound good now what else could he have right coming on his catching is incredible 82 catching 
which is great considering after an 80 after like an 80 catch or 70 80 catch around there's when i start to notice they get like those crazy catch animations on defense and to make it even better his elusiveness is 93 his ball carry vision is 90 his spin moves 80 and his juke moves a 90 which means he can actually return he can return technically kicks but most importantly he can return picks and interceptions just like Deion Sanders not as great probably but definitely up there's block shedding is 65 which is pretty high for cornerback and to make it even better than that he has an 80 or an extra say a 92 hit power that's the best part about him too sometimes because people love to try to juke out the corners because they know that there's, there's, no, there's no repercussions but natural is gonna hit stick them so when you try to juke him out or do anything crazy on him you're gonna probably get you know let the boom light on you and he's quite frequent frequently with his play rack and everything gets in gets on the play quickly in the run game and right at the middle in like an inside zone cracks the running back causes the fumble so that's gonna be a game changer especially on wide receivers who don't have great carrying specifically because wide receivers are gonna get hit hard by them typically wide receivers on the outside only have to deal with the cornerbacks like Deion Sanders so they're never gonna get fumble anyways but Nitron Lane gives you that potential then obviously I still have Denzel Ward and Deion if you compare Deion to Nitron Lane obviously I think Deion might be Deion's probably slightly better in certain ways, but then Nitro is better in other ways, so you really can't judge them too much. They, they, they play their own things. They're both highly athletic. One's a little more physical in this game. I think Deion was physical in real life, but in this game, one's a little more physical, and the other one is a little more flashy, finesse, and offensive-based. Now, first safety, we got Brian Dawkins. I'm not going to change it for a while. Unless they give me some super fast safety with zone and hit power like that, where they give me a Sean Taylor. He's going to be staying there for quite a while. And then a strong safety, we got Pat Tillman, obviously, the GOAT. His stats are insane. He's going to be there all year, unless they don't give him upgrades towards the end of the year, which I doubt they'll do. And a kicker, we have Tucker. You guys already know that. Favorite kicker in the league. Above 90 kick pal, above 90 kick accuracy. Don't got to worry about him for quite a while. And then I punt we got Trey Wood, but I'm not wasting my time with that. Now, I'm going to show you guys the full lineup as a whole, because I know you guys always want to see that. So, as you guys can see, on offense, this is what the offense is looking like. Only place we're looking a little weak is the right tackle and the quarterback, quite honestly. I feel like the quarterback needs to change at this point. Definitely holding my offense back a little bit. He can't make a lot of the passes that I like to make, and he fumbles quite a bit. So once we get the quarterback up and the right tackle up, maybe even the left tackle up, this team should be looking a whole lot better. And then as we get onto defense, the only weakness we might have here is defensive tackle. Defensive tackle and left outside linebacker. Everything else is really solid. If I could just upgrade those two positions, this team would be good. Like, about all we're missing. And then special teams, we got we got Tyreek returning kicks. Now I kind of want to give Barry, the re uh, I want to I wanted Barry to return kicks, but Barry gets really tired very quickly and he doesn't have the best carrying so i feel like i don't want to ruin my first offensive drive where he's teed. typically the guy you kick return with is usually yellow or fatigued after his kick return if it's even a decent return so if barry gets any good returns he's not going to play offense at a lot of that drive so i don't really don't want to screw him like that i don't want to be put in that position where i can't use my running back so for now i'm going to use tyree kill he's got return on him so should be more than enough now that is about it for the video if you guys are new to the channel make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button come join the family boys I appreciate each and every one of you that are here who watched all five videos today. If you made it this far today on all five videos, make sure to give this video an extra thumbs up. I appreciate you guys who do that. Smash the like button. Let's see if we can get above 350 likes on the lineup update. And comment down below. Remember, all those questions I asked, all those things, if you have any comments or concerns, comment them down below. If you want direct help, the link to my Twitter will be down below. Go and drop a follow over there and go hit me up on Twitter. And I'll help you guys as I'll help you guys accordingly. So that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.